The SparkFun AVC is an annual robotics competition that we hold here at SparkFun Electronics where we test all the competitors to their robotic knowledge. We have two distinct competitions. We have the ground course, which tests your programming ability, and then we also have a new addition this year, which is the combat robots, which test your hardware abilities. For the ground portion of AVC, we have a fixed course in which the contestants should drive around as quickly as possible while hitting as many obstacles and bonuses as they can to rack up the most points during the day. Contestants for the ground course are tasked with getting around the course not only as quickly as possible, but there's also bonus points that they can rack up, and whoever gets the most points at the end of the day wins the competition for their various classes. We have several obstacles placed throughout the course. Some obstacles are just obstacles, and other obstacles they will actually get points for. The first thing that they will come across are the barrels. They have to either weave in and out of them or just plow through them. It's up to them. Then next they go up to the hoop, which they can gain points for going through it. Then we also have a ramp that they also gain points for going through. If the entrant decides, they can take a shortcut, which goes halfway through the course, but they have to tackle the discombobulator, which is a large six foot spinning disc that spins around with a gas engine. Think of a Lazy Susan with a gas engine on it. Also this year, we added a bonus point structure if you didn't use GPS. GPS has been heavily relied on in past years for getting around the course, but GPS has also gotten a lot better, so it's a lot easier to use GPS. So without using it, we add some bonus points. Another fun fact about this year is we had more entrants show up than we've ever had in any past AVC. We had a lot of student teams as well, and this shows that there's just so many new people and young people getting into robotics.
this year at ABC, we did things a little differently. Since the FAA shut down our drone competition, we decided to replace it with something equally dangerous. We got ourselves a nice big arena and had one and three pound combat robots. We chose combat robots because BattleBots is making an appearance on television again, and we thought, hey, it'd be a cool thing to show the public that you can do that, but at a much smaller scale. What is combat? It's one and three pound fighting robots. Opposing robots will fight for three minutes in the arena. Our arena has two hazards in the corner, so in the final minute of the match, the saws will turn on and the robots can push each other into them. The arena is six feet by six feet and has quarter inch Lexan or polycarbonate walls. These walls protect us from the damage, all the little bits, but uh, more importantly, it keeps the robots inside. The floor is steel, so you'll probably see some robots that actually have magnets to give them traction. The judges are looking for three pieces of criteria. The first off is damage. Did you break the robot? Second, is your strategy great? Are you trying to outthink the other robot or push them into the hazards? And lastly, control. Are you dominating this match or are you trying to run and hide? I'm Nathan Burnside. I'm from Los Alamos, New Mexico, hence the uh, New Mexico flag. And uh, this is Minuteman. It's uh, competing in the doping category. This is the fifth time that I've brought Minuteman up to the competition. It's uh, always been a dead reckoning bot. It, uh, it's never used a GPS. Uh, it uses a, an encoder on the transmission for distance and uh, it uses a gyroscope, uh, just a single axis uh, gyroscope uh, for the direction. It's pretty fast. It's done well in years past, but usually it gets tangled up with other bots. That's the problem with uh, Dead Reckoning, is that once you get tangled up, it's hard to recover your course. But uh, so far, so good this year. Hit it! Go, Minuteman, go! High speed!